Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Okay, so this is gonna be this is that ish I don't like tag. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh my god, this is Romney. Romnesia. Oh, hide your kids, hide your wife. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> if you want to see what it is I don't like, don't go anywhere. I'll be back after the intro. This is going to be good. Stuff is falling. I'm sorry. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> when I think about it. that's that ish I don't like <laughs> this is my stripper jam like oh I love this <laughs> whatever all right you know how when you have like your phone let me okay imagine this let's picture this real quick oh my gosh where's my phone Oh my gosh, I can't find my phone. Where is my phone? Oh my gosh, where is my phone? Where is my phone? And your phone is like right there. Oh my gosh, that's that ish I don't like. Or like when you have a pair of scissors or like your clippers, like your nail clippers somewhere and you saw them like two days ago or a day ago, you saw them, right? And today, when you need them, you can't find them. Like that stuff just gets on my nerves. Like oh my gosh and then like it got to a point where i'm like i'm not gonna let myself get this angry i'll just go buy another new pair of stuff and as soon as you buy it you, you go out you go to walmart you buy yourself a new pair or whatever you come home as soon as you open it up like the point like where you can't return anymore then it's like they miraculously like show up like right in front of you like i really think sometimes like object like listen to us and you just like do stuff just to irk us like just like my sleek stuff i had put it down somewhere and i couldn't find it for like two weeks you guys i almost cried because you know when you order stuff from sleek it takes you like 10 days to get it it was like in a plastic it was in a plastic bag that was hanging on the doorknob like right here for 10 days and I couldn't find it. Like that's that ish I really, really don't like. I can't. I, oh my gosh, I can't. I really can't. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. People who drive slow as hell, right? And then like as soon as the light turns yellow, then they want to speed. And I'm like, cause then the thing is like when you're driving. Especially if you're behind someone, if you hit them from the back, like, you're responsible for it, right? So it's like, or, like, they'll just be like, drive slow. The light is green, right? They're driving slow. It's like, oh, this is a 50 mile per hour zone. They're driving, like, 25 miles per hour. Like, ooh, driving Miss Daisy, driving Miss Daisy. And then, as soon as the light turns yellow, then they want to speed. Or, this is what I hate the most, like, that's the ish that gets on my nerve. It's like, as soon as, like... They driving fast, oh, they, like they drive just weird. And then as soon as the light turns yellow, and they can obviously go right, that's when they choose to stop. So you're like, you get this close, like you gotta pump the brakes, so you're like, you press your brakes so hard. And it's like, and you come this close, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh, like, I, I, I can't with that one too. I, it, it. It irks me to no extent. Okay, what's the other stuff I don't like? I've watched a couple of videos with people that have mentioned that, and I will say and reiterate the fact that I hate me some disrespectful kids. And the thing is, like, like especially in school, you have kids who are very disrespectful. And then it's not just that the child is disrespectful, but it's like when the mom comes and she calls in the office when you say your, her kid's in detention or he got to go sit in the principal's office, the parents are coming there and trying to cut the teachers out. Are you kidding me? Because, let me say this, you know your child very well. Like, we have all kinds of kids, like, these kids are like 10 years old, right? The way some of these kids speak to an adult, that's how you know we're in America. Because where I'm from, 
No 10 year old will talk to any teacher that way. They will murder your child before you even show up. Like that's the age I don't like. It's like, not only is the child disrespectful, but it's like the parent, they want to come to the school and then they want to confront the teachers as if the teacher is the child. And I'm like, what? Cause we're not here to raise your kid. No, we're not. We're not here to do the, um, the um, discipline. No, we're not. That's your job. And when a teacher calls you and says your child is calling another teacher the B word, like we have kids that say, oh, I'm going to shove something up your, um, your, yes, they say that. I'm going to shove something up your ass. They say that to the teachers. I've heard it. I've seen it. Oh, y'all don't like black people. Always trying to get black people in trouble. Like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, just some crazy behavior. And the parents, they come to the school and they want to cuss out the teachers and the thing is like not only do they want to cuss they actually do cuss out the teachers right but they do it in front of the child so at the end of the day the child think it's okay because no matter what i say to my teacher i call her a b or whatever my mom is going to come here and back me up because the teacher's white yes let me say that because there are a lot of little kids who are very racist it's not just white people be racist you got a lot of minority kids who are very racist against their teachers like they act different for a black teacher and they act completely crazy for a white teacher or a hispanic teacher that's very very white looking okay and that's that ish i don't like like kids should not be you should not teach your kids to treat a person different based on the color of the skin and you should always teach your kids to respect adults and if you have anything to say about another adult in front of your kids i mean you should not sorry if you have anything to say about another adult it should not be in front of your kids you know i had that situation occur in my classroom and the kid was going off like oh that's why my mama don't like you because she was sent to my uh, to the other teacher and i was like oh i stopped her right there i was like so what is your point because she kept going from table to table trying to t get the other kids to be rebellious and disrespectful, you know, not have any respect for authority by going around saying, oh, that's why my mama don't like her. I was like, okay, so what is your point? Oh, I, no, seriously. I was like, what is your point? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Oh, no, we had to nip that in the bud. I don't play that. Mm -mm, I really don't. I don't. I, I, I just don't. Okay? Another thing I don't like. Thank you very much. It's people who are friends with you out of jealousy. You're going to be like, what, Marlene? Yes, Marlene. That's exactly what I said. People who are friends with you out of jealousy. Like, they like your hair. Or maybe they like your boyfriend. Maybe they like where you shop. Or they like your swag or whatever, right? And, like, it's like, okay, you see how I bought this dress or whatever else I bought. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Where would you get it from? Oh, I got this from um whatever, right? You turn around, she has everything you bought. Hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> you know, it's like, or like, you go out with your girlfriend, and then it's like, you know, guys be checking you out, and sometimes it's like, you know, sometimes there are just some guys who are like, oh, whatever, irrelevant. Like, you ain't even Cuban, though, you know. But then you got that one, you know, like, that boo, like, damn, that's some eye candy, right? And you know he's checking you out, and then she's going to be like, oh, you saw how he was looking at me? I'm like, what is she talking about? Is she crazy? No, but I'm serious. Like, there are people like that. Like, just like, or people like on Facebook. Oh, that's another ish I don't like right so say like people who come become friends with you on facebook or friends that are already your friends on facebook and they keep checking who you become friends with on facebook and as soon as you accept somebody on facebook it's like oh marlene is now friends with um any baby four all of a sudden everybody wants to be your friend like you know they go and trying to be friends with your friends and i'm like yo chill out that's why i have a lot of people who like block who their friends are because i just can't deal with that Oh my gosh, let me talk about Facebook too. Another thing I don't like about Facebook, okay? That's why I don't even like a lot of like when guys send me like friend requests, I pretty much say no, but girls be doing that stuff too. It's like, cause I, I will admit this, like I, I, I love taking pictures. Like if you are like on my personal Facebook, you know I have like a million pictures of myself. I really, really, really do. I have to confess to it. But still, it's like because sometimes I do that because when you put the pictures up on Facebook, it'll reduce the size of the pictures so that I can take them and use them on Instagram and then I can put them on my blog. Because if I take the raw pictures from my um, camera, it is too heavy. Like, if I put that picture, like, such a heavy file on the blog, like, it will never, like, upload. 
okay and plus you gotta think about people who have different internet speed because not everybody who's like going on your blog is in america and has like you know files or files or files right files yeah or something so you kind of have to think about that but it's like people like as soon as you accept them like they go through your pictures and they just like everything like 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 i'm like oh my god i just have like i just accepted this person as a friend and now i have like 300 likes I mama mia, you know, I just meals. Like, what am I gonna do with this person? <sighs> That's something I don't like, okay? Oh my gosh. Something else I don't like, oh my goodness, are people who behave like stingy monkeys. And a friend of mine was just saying, like, oh, Marlene always says that, stingy monkeys. Well, I, the way where I grew up, I grew up in Burkina Faso, right? It's a country right above the Ivory Coast. And when I grew up there, I had two monkeys. I had one that was, like, called Kiwi. I called him Kiwi because his fur coat, like, it looked like a Kiwi. Like, it was, like, dark, dirty, green, kind of. Um, and then my other monkey was called Folio. And Folio, like, his paws were, like, like um, this color, like, light brown okay and the rest of his body was white like his head his paws and like the end of his tail was like light brown and everything else was like snow white um and monkeys it's like every time like when we would like feed them when you give them food they put that stuff in their mouth they put like all the food in their mouth at once like whoop, okay and then they stuff the food like in their cheeks like that you know, and they stay like that the whole day. So throughout the day, what they'll do is like they'll just like release a little bit of food at the time and just start chewing and start chewing. But the whole time, they're like us, right? And then they go on the trees, they swing. We would like let them swing all the trees with them because they monkeys. They gotta do what they gotta do, right? So that's where I get my expression like stingy monkey from because you have a lot of people like I have those people in my life too. I don't know how to get rid of them. I wish I had like some kind of I don't know like a fly squatter or something but it's like they keep taking you know like they just take 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 in a relationship and they never give back you know oh my gosh mother can you give me advice oh my can you tell me why i can get this oh can you tell me why i can get that can you you know but when you do something they never dare to support you you know they never encourage you they're like oh, okay you know i'm gonna throw some business your way or i'm gonna try to help you or i'm trying to promote you they never do they act like you don't do anything like they act they know what i do okay but they never do anything to encourage you but they always want you to give them stuff like that to me is a stingy monkey to me all right or you also have people like you know, like they always want to compete with you or feel like, oh, I got to be better than you. That That's also a stingy monkey. And since I am of a black complexion, since I'm like, a, I'm whatever, you know, for me, I call anybody that's black, black, okay? But since I'm black, I will talk about black people in general because it doesn't matter where you go. You'll soon find out that black people are the same everywhere. The same. It's the Negro blood. It is what it is. You can't take that away. It is what it is, right? But it's like when you have black women who always try to compete with another black woman, it's like, chill out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop it. We're not competing here. You know, like, I watch people, like, I like I will say this since we're on YouTube, like, I've listened to some people. You know, the funny thing is, when people do vlogs, like, you know, somebody does makeup. You may like somebody's makeup, I don't know, because you like personality or you have got the same skin complexion, you like her hair, whatever it is. I mean, you watch a person because you like what she does, you know? And then they start to vlog. And you know me, I am someone, I overthink stuff a lot. Like, I analyze people, like, their behavior. Like, the way they look at the camera, the stuff they say. Like, I listen to the stuff they say. And when you say stuff, like, that's just, like, off to me, I'm just done with you. Like... <laughs> Because I'm like, what kind of person? Like, get over yourself. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's just not for YouTube. At the end of the day, anything you accomplish underneath the sun is by God's grace. It really is by God's grace. Because newsflash, okay, in case you don't know, 
right there is always going to be somebody out there who looks better than you who is taller than you who is more active than you who is more creative than you who is more this and more that okay and let me also say this to you and that will take you far in life instead of trying to stop people from growing or stop people from um you know getting to your so-called level that okay yeah right okay you know, it is better for you to be somebody that uplifts other people and that gets people to their destiny. Because when you do that, they will always remember you. Some people will be fake, but trust and believe, they won't get far. They won't get far. But those people who are grateful will get very far. That's why me, I am very grateful. The people, since I've been on YouTube, who've like reached out to me, who've helped me, called me, you know, showed nothing but love to me, they are on my channel page and they will not go anywhere. Because even if like 10 years from now we don't speak, they're still going to be there because I will never forget that they showed me love when I didn't even know what I was doing. You know, I will never. That's why when you look at my um, my info stuff, there are some channel names that are always going to be there because I that is my way of saying thank you. And I don't do it because I have to do it or I want them to know that I'm doing it. No, no, no. That is not how I operate. Okay. Everything I do in life, I think about God and I say, how would he want me to behave? Because what I do, the way I behave, like it has nothing to do with you. It really don't because you don't feed me you don't take care of me you don't bless me you don't protect me you know when I go out of my house you don't stop me from having an accident Jehovah does so my heart belongs to Jehovah and what I do like I always think like as a Christian as somebody who was blessed by the Spirit of God because God has saved me from so many crazy stuff maybe one day I'll testify you know that I just don't have the time to hate and I just also don't have the time to be ungrateful because you have to sow seeds of love. And when somebody shows you love, you also have to give love back. And remember the story in the Bible with the tree. Um, when Jesus was trying to eat the um, the fruit from the tree and there was no fruit there. The, fruit, the, the tree was barren. And the Bible said that he cursed that tree. Why? Because here's a tree that is pretty much taking all the nutrients on the ground, growing taller and taller every day. You know, yet it's not giving anything out. It's not giving anything back. It's not producing. So why are you here? You know, and so Jesus cursed the tree. You know, so I don't want to be that tree. You know what I mean? I want to be a tree that gives life. Like, she gets stuff from the soil. And then at the same time, like, I give, like, you know, I have fruits. Fruits of love and fruits of kindness, of gratefulness, of, you know, humility and things like that. Like, you know, that to me, it matters so much because you have your conscience to live with. You know what I mean? All of this, like King Solomon said, it's like vanity. All this stuff is vain. It will pass away. But who are you? For the Bible says, like, one day before God, you shall be measured gold for gold, weight for weight. What have you accomplished with your life? And do you really want to be somebody who spends their time, like, just destroying other people? Oh, gosh. Get a hold of yourself. Really, get a hold of yourself. All right. Next thing that I don't like since I'm talking about YouTube, like, I don't like people who come on your channel with that sub for sub crap. Like, please stop doing that to my channel. Like, if you watch this channel, like, if you're watching me, you're watching this video right now, and I'm talking about sub for sub, and I say, please stop doing it because that's that itch I really don't like, is sub for sub. Listen to me. Like, I sub to a bunch of people that are not sub to me. We talk on Twitter, we talk on Instagram, but they're not sub to my channel. I don't give a what. I sure don't. I don't care. Yeah, okay, I like her stuff. All right, cool. Is that going to stop me from being me? No. Because I still, like, some people I watch, not to show off, some people I watch on YouTube, like, and I'm like, okay, she's doing it, but when I look at her background, you know, I can break her off some change. Like, seriously, I really could. Because, you know, it looks like she's struggling just a bit, not to show off. So it's like, I'm never going to look at somebody and be starstruck. Because, like, just like I don't know anything about you, you don't know anything about my life. And those who know my life know I'm crazy. Like, I'm a jet setter for real, for real. Like, it's not even a joke. It's not. Like, if it wasn't for me, like, being married and having a kid, like, I probably wouldn't be here making videos right now. I'll be probably, like, in London or in Paris, like, waking up tomorrow, going to a party, be back here in VA on Sunday, like I used to do it. Like, that was my life. British Airways for, like, business class, I'm out. Heathrow, Terminal 5, partying, 
you know, calling my friends like, Marlene, where are you right now? I'm like, oh, I'm in Greenwich. <laughs> I lived in the UK for a year. Like, it was just ridiculous. And I kept going back, like, every weekend I was there. You know, so I never look at anybody. I'm like, wow, whatever. You know, like I, I have friends that are like paid. Oh my gosh, like it makes no sense. Like I don't even know you guys. If I tell you my life is like, you really have to know me. But you can't really share stuff with people because people get jealous. Like so, it's never been like I would never look at somebody on YouTube and be like, oh my gosh, she went to Italy. Like really, really. <laughs> All right then, sure sure what no okay so it's like don't come here and do the stuff for stuff stuff and I, I don't like it I don't like it and it shows a lack of respect because people spend all this money trying to do all the setup spend all the time trying to film stuff edit stuff you know and you come on here you write these bogus AF comments on somebody's channel page or on their videos saying oh my gosh you're so beautiful oh my gosh I love your videos oh my gosh I'm one of your new subbies can you please return the love by subbing back xoxo no I will not you know, and I got into a confrontation with one lady about that. I was like, can you please stop doing it because I see you. And the thing is, like, she would, like, subscribe and she would leave these bogus ass comments and she's not the only one to do it. You know, then she would unsubscribe and she would subscribe again and pretty much, like, spam my, my, my ish, you know. And I was like, please stop doing it. I had to let her know, like, stuff. She was like, oh, you know, is it so wrong for me to ask you to to show love to your subbies I was like first of all that's why I <sighs> all right because if you know me if you are a true subscriber of mine and you watch my videos you know I do nothing but show love to every single one of my subscriber that is what I do because I value I value people's time and I appreciate every single person who watches me okay can I get a witness Amen. Can y'all say it louder? Amen. All right, good now, y'all. Y'all, you better know it. No, I mean seriously, like I, I, ooh, I can't. Sub for sub, it just it, it, it drives me crazy. It really does. Next, another thing I don't like: people who borrow your money or like they borrow stuff from you and they want you to like they they want you to pretty much ask for your stuff back. No, you take my stuff, give my stuff back, especially like my money. Like if you borrow money from me, please pay me let me say it louder if you borrow money from me can i please get my money back you know what i mean like people look at you and like oh she probably has too much so she don't need it yes i need it it don't matter if i got a billion it's still my money you know and it's not just the principle of like oh she got too much money or do i really need it okay maybe i don't need the money back but still it is very unethical like if you wanted for me to give you money for free you should have said oh marlene can i have some free money I don't even sound right, but at least you could have said that, you know, but I just don't like, like, people used to see, like, oh, I'll pay you back, I'll pay you back, and they never pay you back, and then when you ask for your money, because sometimes you do have to ask, because, like, are people going to keep taking me for stupid, you know, and then they want to get all confrontational and raise their voice and get loud and bring up some past and stuff, I'm like, okay. I'm going to stay calm right now because, yeah, you are going to give me my money back. <sighs> whenever you're ready okay that's that stuff I don't like okay